morning. Great, you sir. We're all on the same page as we start this day here on NFL Network. You know, I'll tell you a couple of things that are going to be interesting today, Andrew. For one, we will see Odell. The plan is for Jarvis Landry and Baker Mayfield to join him at the podium behind me this afternoon. questions they'll tell you that he loves you he did yeah. I said it to him though in case you are asking just because I was supposed to at that point right started out as a joke you met him yet Odell no yeah. I have not what will be the first thing you say to him when you meet him oh uh, I love you <laughs> gave him a hug you know <laughs> gave him a hug too it's like a love story <laughs> I mean he's uh just by the conversations I've had with him and, uh, you know, him being here today, just, I like the guy. Really, that's all I have to go off of right now is just uh, the guy, and I like the guy. Um, so the relationship building process starts today and with uh, along with a bunch of other people. And it's the relationships you form. I guarantee you ask any retired player, what do they miss? It's not catching passes. It's not throwing passes. It's the locker room. And the better you can make the locker room. That doesn't have to be a kumbaya session, all right? I'm not talking about that. But it has to be with people that you trust and respect. And you become loyal to them, all right? So when you miss that after retirement, that's what you're going to miss. And that's what we're trying to create here. Because the quicker that happens, the better off we're all going to be. I had to give a good license. Oh, baby. Hey, you gotta get your ratchet park on there, bro. That boy, bitch. Out here. Cruising down the street in my 6'4. Corbett, pretend like you care, grab a pen. So first off, welcome. Nice to meet you. You're going to be right there. How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good. Alright. So, talk about um, the response that you got from fans, both from the Giants and from the Browns. Um, a lot of hurt from, you know, the fans, the uh, true Giants fans over there. Um, but a lot of love from this place. And um, that's that's very special to me, you know, because I'm, I'm all about, this is what we do it for. We do it for those people, like to see kids running up and down the street, you know, getting police called on them. And it, it all feels kind of surreal. Like, I, I could close my eyes right now and, and see LSU's meeting room and me and Jarvis there with Coach Henry. Like, this is like deja vu. Like, you couldn't, I, I mean, I couldn't, when we said we would do this, I never could have expected it to happen ever in my life. Ah, and here we are. 
I think what Mr. Dorsey's done is incredible, and I f feel like it's just stacked. Like this team's been building for years. You've had the first pick, first pick, first pick, plenty first rounders. You got Baker, who's incredible. Like this has really been, you know, for the longest time. Me and him, you know, we always talk about it. It's like, bro, I wish, I wish you were my quarterback. This team's full of first rounders. Let's just be great, be great together. Jarvis called me before. He was like, what you want to do? Come be the dog. Come be a dog, you know? I was like, man, it's going down? He said, I think so. You just say the word if you don't want to or if you do want to. I was like, we could be America's team. That's fine. Fine with me. Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham Jr., Miles Garrett, and ahead of him, Jarvis Landry. To be here with Coach Henry, to look on the wall and see Jarvis, like, Pro Bowl receiver, it's crazy to me, man. Like, we used to talk about how we're gonna have a house. I'm gonna have a house down the street. You know, we're gonna be on the same team. Pull up in your drive, like, you know what I mean? It's just, I, I'm almost at a loss for words. And like, now that I'm sitting here today and I've sat back and processed these emotions, feelings, like I'm beyond excited for what opportunities lie in front of me. And I feel like this is for my legacy. You know, this is something that, you know, I always talk about being legendary and all those things, and it's like I really have an opportunity to just do what I love, which is play football. All right, we'll go ahead and open right up. Was this always in the back of your head that you could wind up here? Was that good with you? Of course, if, if I wanted to be anywhere else, I'd be playing alongside my brother. Like, this is, this is everything I ever dreamed of. Um, he made me who I am today. Like, he's taken me to a level of this greatness. This is legendary, and I think that it's gonna be it. It's gonna be one of the best things that ever happened to me in, in my life. I mean, I just, I just cry. I call him, <laughs> cry with John, <laughs> uh, cry with Freddie. You know, I mean, like, you know, I know for me, it's something that, you know, he's definitely somebody that my life needs. You know, so it's more than an honor to take the field with him again. You know, so, he started this. This is the reason this all happened is because of him. You know, we would sneak into the facility at midnight go shoot jugs to the two in the morning. We talked about legendary, we talked about a legacy. We talked about gold jackets. That's, that's our conversations. It never was about no money. It never was about any of that. It's about being a legend. And I think this moment is gonna be more iconic than we all realize right now. You know, to look back in 10 years and be like, man, I remember the start of something great. You know, and I'm just happy to be a part of that. You could uh, tell the fans one thing right now as you kind of embark on this next chapter of being Brown, what would it be? I would just, you know, tell them to get ready for some of the most exciting times of their lives. Um, we want everybody there. I want to be able to give these people the best, you know, the most excitement that you could possibly have and win, obviously. But, like, um, I just want to be able to come in and be myself, be be the very, very best player that I could be, um, and be able to add. You know, I never want to subtract, so I want to be able to add as much as I can to this roster. All right, we're going to pull for a couple quick photos. You have adjusted well to the orange and brown, Odell. Can you please let Cleveland get to know the real Odell Beckham Jr. because they're going to fall in love with him and they're going to respect him an awful lot if you let that happen. And, um, you know, I think one of the hardest things for me is, like I told you, it's hard to, to give all of yourself because, you, you know, like my life has no privacy. But I think that Cleveland is going to get the best version of Odell Beckham Jr. that they could possibly have. And if I could do that the way you know that, you, you know me, I think it's going to be a match made in heaven. That'll be our road unis. Oh, I like it. Yeah, and then we're gonna we're gonna keep those as a surprise, not tell anybody about mm -hmm. that, but that'll be in our closet. Yeah. And then this will be the color rush. Those are sweet. Just clean. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I like Worms. it. Pretty good. Yes, mm -hmm. All right. Oh, good. Right. Approval. You doing well? Good man. Proud of you. You ready? Good. Ready. There we go. Three, two, and one.
Very happy to be joined by the newest member of the Cleveland Browns, wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Odell, let me be the first to say welcome to Cleveland. Welcome to the Browns. It's great to have you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm uh, happy to be here. Appreciate the time today. You said you're an emotional guy. What did it mean to have your mom here with you going through this today and being at that press conference and everything? It's, it's everything. You know, my mom is my rock. My mom is the reason that I do all this. Honestly, I've told her. And Orange is her favorite color. So there you go. Already, so it just it just works out perfect. Well, Odell, thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing everything come together this season and so happy to have you as a member of the Browns. And I got to tell you, you're going to love Cleveland, and Cleveland is going to absolutely love you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Right, thank you, man. Coach, you need this suit? Huh? You need this suit? Yeah, I do. <laughs> the pants, too. <laughs> How much more has he got? He got a brown shirt. Brown shirt, orange hat. Good to go. Yeah. I got a